Hey, and welcome back to What's Mike Doing? If this is your first time here, what I do on this show is build, repair, maintain, and fly both experimental and certificated aircraft. My goal with this show is to encourage you to pursue the mechanical side of aviation and have as much fun as I do. If that interests you, hit the subscribe button, ring the bell so you'll be notified of my latest videos, and enjoy the show. All right, so since I have the cowl off uh, from my last video um, and the top, I figured I would pull the spark plugs and check the cylinders to see if there's any corrosion in there. Because it's been sitting, I've had that engine on there for months now. I've run it up, uh, did a quick little, not a full run up, but just to make sure everything's running and there's no major leaks before first flight. Of course, we'll have a full run up when it comes to that flight. Uh, but in the meantime, the engine's gonna be sitting dormant. The biggest concern with a sitting engine is corrosion. I have a bore scope, a digital bore scope that I'm gonna use. That's this one here. And I'll even focus it. I don't even know what it's called. Vividia Able Scope. So I actually got that at Oshkosh. Actually, I think it's the same Oshkosh that I got this shirt, 2016. So I've had this for three years. Um, and it's been super, it's been super awesome. It hooks up to the USB port on the computer. In this case, my laptop. And here we are here. So it's super flexible. And if I push this button here on the end, it's an articulating uh, head that goes 180 degrees. So pretty neat. And it actually also, on this control here, it also has a light. So this, uh, we put it, take the spark plugs out, put it in the cylinder, and then we have a look around. We'll have a look for um, any sign of corrosion. Now, if you look at the screen, you see this line here? I don't know what happened. Something in the end of this camera, or actually the actual camera camera in there, something's gone cattywankus with it. So I'll have to send this, I've had it three years, I've not had this problem, and this is the first time I've used it in like a while, like a year or so. So as you can see, there's a little bit of oil on the bottom of the cylinder, which is to be expected. And as we move it around there, There's the other spark plug. You can see that cylinder wall. So no corrosion in there. If I articulate the head all the way around, there's that other spark plug. And there's the valves. It's kind of a practical reason why as an owner, it would be nice to have a bore scope. Yeah, you can check these things on annual and that's nice. And this here is a cylinder off my old Cessna 150. So the story with the Cessna 150 was I was in training, I was doing my long cross countries for my private pilot. And initially the mag checks, the entire time I, prior to this that I owned the 150, the mag checks were perfect every time. You know, maybe like five RPM, 10 RPM, but it was, it was really sweet. So then on a couple of flights, the mag check was way off, and so I leaned the engine and ran up, leaned it, and then did a higher RPM run up, burned the oil off the spark plugs, and then my mag check was within spec. 
That's a standard way of dealing with an initial bad mag check. But what I didn't realize is that, and what didn't click in my head is that's never happened before. So what changed? Well, had I had the borescope at the time and the knowledge, I would have checked it out, you know, had a look in the cylinder, see if anything's different. What I would have noticed is what I found out at the next annual a few months later, there was a big old score inside that cylinder. And that score was caused by this. So have a look at this. You'll see I have two rings jammed on top of each other right there broken and then I have this big old hole I don't know what caused that hole uh, broken piece of ring rubbing back and forth but it actually popped out in the top really odd Got the rest of the landing there. So, had I, like I said, had I had the bore scope and just when I had popped those spark plugs and had a look in there, I would have noticed that something was scratching that cylinder bore, and which was allowing more oil to get in there, and which was causing me bad mag checks. So, fortunately, even with this, this ring actually broke into about like 10, 15 different pieces. It was fully broken. When I pulled the cylinder out, when I pulled this piston out of the cylinder, it literally just fell out onto the ground. But the aircraft itself was still making full rated horsepower. So I got two other um, compression rings here. That was just the third one. With these two other compression rings, I was able to make full compression, but these rings. Now, what's it? I, I, I even pulled the exhaust um, valves out. There was no damage to the exhaust valves. The pieces of this um, that caused this hole simply vaporized. It didn't cause any other damage in there. As you can see from the, the top of the piston, there's no damage. So it's not like they broke out and the pieces came out that hole at all and caused any any damage. So just something to keep in mind that it's a really good idea to check out those cylinders periodically especially if anything changes